creativity is expressivity. Artist Frances Stilwell has been capturing the natural beauty of Oregon since the 80s. Her pastels and pad have painted many pictures of what's unique to the state. Do what your heart says rather than what your brain says. The 81-year-old donated 81 of her paintings to the Oregon Historical Society. The number, a coincidence. The subjects, intentional. Francis, a botany major, left a successful career in environmental science and began looking at plants through a new lens. OHS Deputy Director Nicole Yasuhara sees the collection as a time capsule. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these plants you know, become less and less common or even extinct in the next several decades. And so that is why I think uh, Francis Stilwell's artworks, particularly these, are historic and belong at the Oregon Historical Society. So that they could be shown all together because my intention was to bring to life a sense of being in the state of Oregon, being at home. Here. The exhibit features 40 years of work sorted into regions. Each piece is found in Francis's book, Oregon's Botanical Landscape, an opportunity to imagine Oregon before 1800. To give a sense of what Oregon has to offer if we, if we don't mess with it. A walk around the room reveals the diversity of our native plants. And when you look at the self-portrait and you look at the piece, I can see her almost standing there. It's so perfect. Francis paints in plain air, meaning at the site. She's always enjoyed the spiritual experience, and there is one question she answers a lot. What's it like to be out there with all the bugs? <laughs> and for me, I, it's just being out there. I just expand into the, into the setting. It's freedom for me. The exhibit runs through May 1st, and Francis is honored to share what's so special about our neck of the woods. I hope that they get a touch of this God feeling. But pastels are good for that. I think giving a dream equality, maybe that's why I think that. I don't know, but that's what I hope. In Portland, John Goodwin, KGW News.